Mark Pawtalki, I know you keep track of hate crimes around the country, and I wonder, as you, in your records, how, how much more does this happen with, or does it happen more with LGBT people than other people? How much of a target is that community? Very much so. Uh, we looked actually at 14 years of FBI data, uh, hate crime data, uh, and made comparisons to the size of the populations of various uh, uh, minority groups in this country. And to make a very long story short, what we found was that on a per capita basis, uh, at least in recent years, uh, LGBT people uh, are, are targeted for violent hate crimes uh, at a rate of two times uh, that of uh, gay, uh, I'm sorry, uh, of uh, Muslims or black people, uh, four times that of Jews, uh, and 14 times that of Latinos. So the bottom line is that LGBT people really are targeted in a way that uh, no other minority group or at a rate uh, higher than any other minority group in this country, uh, at least in recent times. So uh, I think maybe it's worth pointing out mm -hmm. uh, that just three years ago, uh, on New Year's Eve of 2013 in Seattle, uh, a man tried to burn alive 750 people uh, in an upstairs uh, gay club there called Neighbors. Uh, he was not successful. Quick-thinking patrons uh, discovered the fire in the stairwell and put it out, uh, but there might well have been an enormous uh, casualty list in that case. How much more power does this particular attack have on the imagination in the, to the degree that it's been uh, tied up with terrorism as opposed to, in addition to hate crimes, Mark Potok? Well, I think it had, has a great uh, power on the imagination. I mean, the carnage was just incredible, uh, and the, the mixture uh, of motives. I mean, it seems to me it's very unclear uh, what this man's motives were. They seem to have really been all three strands, a kind of terrorist strand, uh, to the extent he seems to have been at least somewhat related to uh, Islamist ideas, uh, a hate crime strand in that it was clearly a uh, huge animus directed against LGBT people, uh, and then a mental health or just kind of internal rage mm -hmm. strand in which this man seemed to be angry at absolutely everyone around him. And briefly, Rachel Tibben? We shouldn't be surprised, unfortunately, right? We should not be surprised that the kind of animosity that has been sanctioned by state and local governments around the country, uh, when, when mixed with easy access to heavy weapons, leads to a tragedy like this one.